You know, the plant world is so diverse and there are so many beautiful different plants that we usually don't get yeah. to enjoy. But the ones that I'm presenting today, they all have either a heart-shaped leaf or heart-shaped flower. And um, they're gonna say I love you year round. And the anthurium is one of the best for those people who like indoor plants. And I just want you to enjoy, look at this heart shape. People it's would think really that this is a flower, beautiful. but it really yeah. isn't the flower. This is called a bract. It's kind of like one of the green leaves on the plant, yeah. but it's modified. The flowers are actually along this pith here. There's hundreds, maybe thousands of little tiny flowers along oh. this yellow, but this is what attracts the pollinators. Oh, so we've got this, and then I've got it also in pink, Aww. which is absolutely gorgeous. And then I've combined it with another heart-shaped and uh, plant. This one is the heart-shaped philodendron, and they just look so beautiful together and they just celebrate love. Oh, but yeah. How do you know should. how do you know what plants are going to survive together? Okay, well they have to have the most important things in common. Their basic needs. So these oh. plants need the same type of bright room. They need around the same temperatures and they both are sensitive to too much water. Hmm. So you can take care of them at the same time and give them both happiness at the same time. And one of the benefits of the uh, of this plant is that it will cleanse the air. So that's oh, a really nice gift. Oh, that's, wow. oh my gosh, it's like an air purifier as well. It sure is. So excited. I, how many plants have I presented on the show from yeah. years? But this one, take a look, guys, is amazing. Look at nature's sculpture. Oh These goodness. are heart-shaped Hoya, H-O-Y-A. And they call them sweetheart Hoyas. They are almost look like succulents, but they're not. And they just grow in this beautiful pattern and what i've coupled it with is a related plant called the string of hearts and can you see how it's cascading yes and it's got oh, these beautiful. beautiful burgundy stems it's delicate it's gorgeous it's in the like shape jewelry. of a heart in the shape of a heart and they again same care yeah needs as a Absolutely. succulent yes but take a look at how it grows you're going to say yeah i was going to say how does this, this thing grow? hoya wow. is going to be a beautiful big vine but it's going to grow slowly and it has flowers so even more look oh at this my goodness little miniature wax so wait a minute so, so this that, is going to yeah. grow yes. out of the ground well like that? let me show you how it works you see how i've just put the little leaf cuttings on the display mm -hmm. well what's going to happen is it's going to grow from underneath a nice little stem that's uh -huh. going to elevate it and it's just going to branch out. Branch out like and look at that. Is that gorgeous? That is beautiful. Wow. So this is a good one to consider and for how, those. And how long would something like this live? Oh man, years. I years, mean, all of these. Yeah, oh, it's really, I don't want to exaggerate. If you take care of your plants, they can last 20, 25 years. Oh really? This will give life to many. Look, I even put a little tiny one here. If you just want to take a little cutting and make it special. but. I mean, come on, most people yeah. are, their jaws will drop. It's yeah. unbelievable. But I have never seen uh -huh. anything like this. Well, let me tell you. I have every year Valentine's, I've been wanting to find the bleeding heart. Never find it. I found it two weeks ago. I'm like, I'm taking this. This, you guys, is a bleeding heart plant. It's absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, it's pendulous. It hangs like it's, you know, just a little pearl or oh like it's a little goodness. necklace. Mm. Is that beautiful? Like a pendant. It would look or like, like a charm. Yeah. Like an absolute charm. So I love this with a beautiful shape. And then we have the cyclamen, which I introduced many of you to a few weeks ago. And the reason I included this as a pair is because it's underplanted and has these beautiful heart shaped leaves with all these markings. So it's all heart, heart, heart. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. This for outdoors more for the outdoor. This, friends, everybody all around the country, you can have this in your garden. And what I would suggest is if you get one or you buy one in the spring, when it's nice and warm, mm -hmm. you know, it's not okay. freezing anymore, you plant it in your shade garden and take a cue from this design. Put some cyclamen in the front because it's going to grow shorter. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, you're going to have a crazy, right. amazing shade it's garden. It's show stop. I mean, you can find a one gallon beautiful plant like this for about $8. What? You can find like the hearts here. I mean, where yeah. are you going to find something like this? Yeah. This can come from one plant and you just take cuttings and, and you just on. create it and you're not killing it. No. It's yeah. actually going to root. But by the way, we put a little bit of dried roses yeah. just to be cute. Yeah. But of course, that's for the gifting. You take it off sure. because it's going to turn mushy. But sure. look how beautiful. I mean, that doesn't cost anything. Yeah. Maybe a yeah. dollar. Well, I will cheaper. tell you what. Julie's going to believe that was $500 uh -huh. right there when I gave it. Yeah. Sure. That's right. I'm telling you, I won't look tell how her, okay? special That's I grew right. these heart-shaped plants. I mean, Mother Nature never 
ceases to amaze never. me. Never. So and neither do you. We can never get grow tired of learning about new plants. No, thank you so much, Shirley.